Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the mini keyboard. So first we need to discuss what it comes with. Okay, as you open the box, you will see that it can't, what, what's in the box, it's, it's the, the keyboard itself, it's the user manual, and it's the, the charging cable. Okay, so now, let's first talk about the, the, how to charge this thing because it, it, as you can see it comes it comes with a rechargeable battery ne? here's the battery here you can see it it's easy to put in it's it's like like those old cell phone batteries so this cable here then let me untangle it okay you can see that it's it's your normal cell phone usb cable right so what you do is you plug it here at the end okay it goes here at the end okay and then on the other end you can either plug it on your laptop you can either plug it on or on your cell phone charger okay because most cell phone chargers they do have uh, like this one of mine you just plug it in there like that and then that's how you charge it okay so it does go flat from time to time so make sure that you you charge it okay now I also talk about what what uh, what what other features the the keyboard has. So the most important thing is on on this end you see that that's your charging dock, and on this end it's your on and off button. Okay. So the first thing I have to do is to have to switch it on. So I slide it. Okay. So when you're done using it, you can switch it off so that it doesn't go flat as quick as as possible. So you switch it on, and then you will see that there's 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 three LEDs here. Okay. The first LED is it's, it's your own LED because what also what the, the keyboard also does it all it goes into sleep if you don't use it after after a while. So you can see that there's there's your on and on on your LED LED to indicate that it's on, and then the middle LED is the most important LED guys because this LED will, when it goes on it means the battery is flat. You need to charge your keyboard. Okay. And the last LED is the one that lets you know if you, your your keyboard is communicating with your dongle. Okay. So uh, so let's talk a little bit more about the dongle. So this is the dongle here guys. So the first thing you need to do is you need, you need to take out the dongle. Okay, take it out. And then what you do with the dongle is you put it in one of the USB slots on your TV box. Okay, let, let us do that right now. Okay, so now what you do is if, if you see here that I put it here on the, on the, USB, on, on the USB slot. And it's done guys so you will see that immediately when i press this guy will not flash because if he flashes it means that he cannot talk to the dongle but now since he's flashing once it means he's talking to the dongle okay and then the next thing i do is uh, this is the mouse pad here in the middle here okay so now when i move the mouse you'll see that the cursor moves okay i'll show you guys so let's say now i wanna i want to open dstv i wanna watch want, i want to watch dstv so you can see that the cursor is there right you can see the cursor there so what i do is i just double tap it then it opens the app okay i just say one two then you can see that the app opens okay so now they're telling me that i do not have internet connection right so the other thing guys is what you can do with this thing also it's basically a keyboard so that means the same setup on your keyboard is the same setup here with your with it, it, it's a quick keyboard so you know your, if, if you know your normal keyboard you don't have a problem that means you can type in anything that you need okay um, and the other thing is when I want to go out of the app itself I do um, a left click okay a left click it's here this is the left click okay you can see that when I click it here it will go go out you see so I'm gonna show you again I double tap I'm in then I do a left click which is this button here you can see that the, the, the left mouse has been, it's been, it's, it's been highlighted here. The, the, the left click on the mouse and also here, the left click on the mouse has been highlighted. So I can use either this, this button here or that button here to come out of apps. So I can do this and I'm out. You can see that. So the other nice, it has, it has some really nice shortcuts on it. The, the other nice shortcut here is one at the top. It's a search. It's one for searching. If you're searching something on, on your, on your, or on, on, on your uh, Internet Explorer, you can always click that. Or the other one, it's a home, 
one so that means if you want to go back home no matter how where how far you can just click on that it will take you back to the home screen and then the, this one is for the internet explorer it will open up your internet browser which here it's google chrome then if i want to go back i can either do a left click or do a home uh, or press the home button okay, do a home click then I'm back then at the bottom here it's your it's your left click and here it's your right click so right click it's like if you don't want to double tap you can almost do a right click then i'm also in it inside the app as you can see and then this one is your mute button okay if, if, if you want to pick up a phone call you can just click on that and then what will happen is you can see that it will show you that now it's muted that means that the audio is not coming out okay i can take it again and then the audio is coming out and then this one is for your it's for your email if you've set up your email on your tv box this is how you open your emails to check them out okay this one is your video player if you set up a video player then if you want to watch it quickly you want to check that video or something you can you can do that okay so what i want to do guys is is uh, i also want to show you uh, the feature of use your two fingers to scroll okay you can see what i'm doing there it's scrolling it's going up it's going down it's going up it's going down it's going up you can see you just use two fingers and then i can come here and i double tap and i'm in there then i can type whatever i want to type you can see that and then once i'm done i can sign in and double tap you see guys it's straightforward okay so the last thing i want to show you is one of the cool features that this thing comes with it's, it has a backlight okay so think about at night instead of you switching switching the lights you know if you want to change channels you can use a backlight and still have and still be able to see your full keyboard so you press this button here fn you keep pressing it and then you press f2 look what happens is that not cool or what now you can even choose it has it, you can even choose uh, any of the three colors red green and blue so now i'm on green i can do it again it goes to blue i do it again it goes to red you see i can even choose a combination of those colors i just do fn and then i slide can you see that look what happens i can choose any combination i like is that cool or what okay so guys this is basically how a keyboard works in a nutshell and i hope it makes sense so thank you guys for your time